my gosh, it's so cute! <laughs> oh, look at the little puppy! Implants! Oh, that's what I'm here for. Oh my gosh, I wonder if the turnips will actually grow that fast. That's really charming. Oh, you guys, look at all of it! <gasps> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns. And we are getting ready to start our very own farm. Oh my gosh, look at the tropical island! <gasps> hibiscus! I see hibiscus! Oh, that's so pretty! I am so excited! There's supposed to be three different towns that you can visit in this series of Story of Seasons. And you're supposed to go to the different towns and develop a relationship with them and really settle in. Oh, what's this one gonna be? Are we back home? Oh, sleepy cow. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I would love it if I could put little hats on my cows. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I can feel the peaceful, quaint, wonderfulness of a good harvest moon series settling in right now you guys but all right welcome to story of seasons trio of towns and this is one of the games that is published on the 20th anniversary of some of the very first harvest moon games as you guys know from our previous experiments the harvest moon series now actually has a whole new name in america story of seasons and so the games that are currently coming out with the harvest moon title actually are a completely different company so this is truly back to the roots with the new generation of Harvest Moon stories, which, as you guys know, are so close, near and dear to my heart, some of the very first games I played. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this new adventure. I've never played a Story of Seasons game because I have been waiting, ooh, seedling mode for new farmers. Mm -hmm. Familiar with the ins and out of farming life? I'm kind of a newbie, but at the same time, I feel like I sh I, I'm going to go veteran. I'm going to go veteran. It's the 20th anniversary of the Harvest Moon series, and you guys, I've been playing Harvest Moon since Harvest Moon 64, so not even the oldest Harvest Moons, but I feel like I, I'm ready to take on bigger challenges, even if I've never played a Story of Seasons game. So in the veteran mode we go. Oh. Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at them! Alright, we gotta choose a gender. I'm gonna be... I think I'm gonna play as a girl this time. It determines if you can marry, if you pick a male, you can marry the bachelorettes. If you pick a female, you can marry the bachelors. And I normally like the female characters more for marriage possibilities, but I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna be a girl this time, you guys, because look at that cute dress. That's just adorable. I'm sure we'll find somebody we will enjoy. All right, so customization. So let's make our farmer. And let's see, A button to customize, B button to go back, got it, all right, so, look at her, oh, she's so cute, I love her hair, all right, so if you're wondering what this game is all about, it is going to be about farming, the farming lifestyle, let's go ahead and try, let's try olive color, oh, that's closer to my skin tone, okay, so we'll go with olive coloring, and then let's go down for face, we want to pick, let's see, so this is natural look, we have the cool look, the baby face look, the bright eye face, smiley face, calm, countenance, oh my gosh, alluring, mischievous, intelligent, uh, cutie face, cutie pie face, <laughs> oh, that is really cute. The intelligent look, hmm, mischievous, oh, that's cute. The alluring, oh, she's cute, smiley, I am pretty smiley, bright eyed. What's over here? Then we've got, let's go with calm. Calm is nice too, baby face. I kind of like the bright eyed a lot now that I think about it. The alluring is really cute too. And the intelligent definitely has a draw to it. But come on, bright eyed, bushy tailed, really happy to be in our farming life. Let's go with this face. So many choices. And then eye color, I have brown eyes. So let's see, how many choices do I have? I've got 16 choices, eh? Oh my gosh, you can pick all sorts of really interesting colors. There's chocolate brown, natural black, which is closer to my eye color, but I could also go with green eyes or cobalt eyes if I really wanted to, or purple. Oh, you can have lavender eyes. That's awesome. I really love green, actually. Oh, you can have amethyst. Hmm, ruby red, carrot orange, rose pink, pale pink. Uh, let's go with, there's emerald green. Hmm, I really like turquoise actually. Let's go with turquoise. 
turquoise. Not my normal eye color. My normal eye color is definitely this dark black, but we'll, we'll go ahead and say I have like the spirit of seedlings within me. And let's see what else we can pick. And hair color. So for hair color, I definitely have dark brown hair. Oh, she gets to keep her cute pigtails. I know there's so many different styles you can actually have in the game. So we may have a lot of fun. Oh, and you can even pick different colored hair. Maybe I'll go with like dark green hair. Ooh, oh, there's emerald green. Oh my gosh, there's so many green hairs to pick from. What's a pick? Maybe I'll go with dark green like this. Oh my gosh, we're cobalt blue. I think you can actually change your style. Um. Let's go with, uh, let's see, dark brown for now. Yeah, we'll go with, ahead and go with dark brown for now. All right, there we go, you guys. We're going to confirm this is our little farmer. And like I began to say before I got super excited, what is Story of Seasons? It's a farming game, you guys. Beautiful farming game with pet show contests and different animals you can raise. You want to befriend the villagers. We're going to have a really great time. There's something very special about the heart, the peaceful, beautiful heart of Harvest Moon games that has always brought me so much tranquility in my life. So I'm going to try to provide that to you guys through the story we're about to tell. I have no idea what it's going to be like. I've never played a Story of Seasons game before, but I think this is going to be one of the best current farming experiences we can have in a video game. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Oh, my birthday! I'm going to pick Spring 26 because that's my real life birthday, March 26. And then let's pick my name. My name is going to be Siri. There we go. Siri and Siri is a okay and then there's type so customize your personality depending on the personality you choose what you are best at may change slightly choose whichever trait you like oh my gosh you guys animal lover fisher sports enthusiast tycoon charmer I think we're gonna go ahead and go with animal lover because that definitely fits me and there we go we've got our adorable little farmer all ready to go out into the big world and hopefully make a wonderful farm together so let's do this you guys we're gonna begin. I have no idea what's going to happen now. It's an exciting start to a new adventure. Memories. Wow, she looks like Marlena. Siri dear over here, come where mommy is. Oh, it's little baby me! Oh, I'm so cute! Look at my hair! Mom, you've got good, good patience for styling my hair. See, here we are, the petting farm. Oh, apparently I'm really excited about that. Let's go see all the animals, shall we? All right, mom. Oh, look at her hair. <laughs> That's so cute. It's the little cow. The cow has little hair too. Pet the nice cow. Uh-oh. Is it a nice cow though, mom? Why don't you pet it first? You don't have to be scared. I'm sure it will be very happy for a pat. <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, it's so cute! Is this where my lifelong animal lover passion comes from? There you, there you are, see? It's saying thank you. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So the cow's happy. I wonder, yeah, but I wonder if like the different opening scenes may be different depending on the personality you picked. <gasps> look at all of the strawberries! I want to eat all of them! Oh look, here we can pick some strawberries to eat. Don't they look delicious? Oh, I'm so excited! I've been to real life strawberry farms before and it's really a special experience. Ah, that's adorable! <laughs> what a fun field trip out with my mom! Oh, I love it! What sweet memories! Oh, do we have to leave now? Oh, there we are! Let's see. Well, Siri, did you have fun at the petting farm? Apparently, I loved it. Of course I would. Oh, you want to live there now, do you? <laughs> oh, I guess you must really have enjoyed yourself. Well then, we're just going to have to come back again sometime, aren't we? I'll take you back there whenever you like, dear. Yay, that's so cool. So really supportive mom, that's a good thing. You don't often get that in some of the video game stories. Oh, happy, happy baby Siri. She oddly looks a lot like me, believe it or not, when I was a little kid. <laughs> Ister, big sister. What, I'm a big sister. Is somebody waking me up? 
No, my strawberry dreams. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at this house. There's dried flowers and flower reefs. Oh my gosh, there's so many plants. What are you doing sleeping on the couch? That can't be good for your neck. What were you dreaming about anyway? You had a big silly grin on your face. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> well, whatever. Mom says to come help get ready for dinner. I'll see you in the kitchen. So that's my little sister, Lynn. She looks nothing like me. Which is very similar to real life. My little sister looks nothing like me. Oh, neither do my parents. Good grief. What's going on, Dad? You are only just got home and you're already calling a family meeting? Yes, about that. I know this is rather sudden, but we're going to be moving at the end of the month. Again, I bet. Oh, it doesn't look like we're happy about that. What? Again? Ugh, I really like this town, too. I know, Lynn, but your father's job is in foreign trade, and moving is part of that. Try not to be too harsh on him, hmm? <laughs> so, darling, where are we moving to next? It's a town across the ocean to the west. I've booked a boat to take us there in a few days. Wow, across the ocean, even! <laughs> oh my, is it really that far away? I regret having to put you through all of this so often, but please try to understand this is out of my hands. I wonder if it's because he likes really fancy suits, because that's a fancy suit. Besides, I hear the place we're moving to is just as nice as here. I'm sure you'll all grow to love it. Oh, really? Now I'm curious. Oh, this is so cute. Doesn't look like I'm going to put up with this, though. I mean, who's going to take care of all the plants? Siri, dear, what's wrong? You haven't said a single word this whole time. Oh, it looks like I did have something to say. What? You want to move out on your own? Well, no wonder you were so quiet. You must have been giving that some serious thought. Haha, <laughs> pun, because I'm Siri. Moving out, hmm? Where you all are, you are a grown adult now. It's your decision to make. Dad almost looks a little too excited about that. <laughs> and coordinating that with the, at the same time of our move west is wise. However, am I right to assume you've thought everything through? What will you be doing to support yourself? I guess he likes ambitious, ambitious entrepreneurs. I'm gonna go farm, I'm gonna go pet cows, I'm gonna go pick strawberries. You're going to become a farmer? What, really? Why? That's some seriously hard work. I always knew you had weird taste. Thanks, little sis. You always did have a fondness for plants and animals ever since you were a child. Thanks, mom. I'm not surprised at all that you want to become a farmer. Yay, I've got some support in here. It, there's more rich family dynamics going on than most stories already, I love it. No, out of the question. What? Come on, Dad. Don't misunderstand me. Farming is a noble profession, and I have nothing but the highest respect for farmers. However, it is not so simple or easy a job that anyone could take it up on a whim and hope to succeed. Whoa, Dad, angry face. What do you know of animal husbandry, crop tending? Have you any idea how to manage a business? It, what, Dad? Oh my gosh, he's so mad. Look at him. He's got angry face. <laughs> If you're naive enough to believe that you have any chance of supporting yourself with this, think again. What do you want me to do then, Dad? I love how it's just like calm face. Whoa! No, you are in no way prepared to be a farmer. I will not allow it. Holy moly. Am I going to go head to head with him? Yep, looks like we're going to square off. Oh wow, I'm really mad now. I think I know which parent I take after more. <laughs> oh my goodness. The argument went back and forth for hours, well into the wee hours of the night. Two weeks later, I won, didn't I? Oh, look how cute it is! <gasps> look at the little horse! Siri, are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? It will be a very long trip, you know. Be careful. Thanks, Mom. You're really going to go, huh? I guess I might come out and visit you sometime, if I feel like it. Thanks, little sis. I love my hat, by the way. That's such a cute farming hat. Siri, understand this. I still don't believe you'll be able to support yourself as a farmer. You know what? I think that Daryl, my dad, and I have the same personality because the more he goes, you can't support yourself, the more I'm like, oh yeah, watch me. I will grow the world's biggest turnip. I will I will have the happiest cows. I will collect the most capybaras, which is actually something we can have as a pet in Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. I'm so excited, you guys. Capybara. I love capybara. All right, dad, you just, you just wait until I like rub my capybara in your face. 
All I'm doing is giving you a chance to learn that for yourself. Oh yeah? Hint. <laughs> Go see my little brother. He's an excellent farmer. Let him teach you. He'll tell you flat out if you have any promise to be a good farmer or not. Why haven't I visited my uncle? Have a safe trip, Siri. Once you're settled in, send us a letter. We'll be waiting. See you, Siri. Good luck. Bye, guys. <laughs> Even Dad, like, waves me off. <laughs> That's adorable. Alright, so I think we get in our little wagon, and I'm gonna go see my uncle then. So, and so, Siri parted ways with their family to start a new life. First stop, Uncle Frank's farm in a little village called West Town. I'm so excited. Oh, look at it! It's a little western style village! Oh, this is so cute! Here we are. This is Frank's place. I'll be taking my leave here. Thank you, delivery person! I hope your horse had a nice day. So this is my uncle's house, huh? Who, who's there? Wait, is that you, Siri? I wonder, I mean, he said it's a farm, but I don't see any crops around. Whoa! You look a little like my dad. Are you my- Yeah, Uncle Frank! Look, he has plants in his hair! Or plants in his hat! Already, I know we are totally two of a kind. I want to tuck a little plant into my hat. This is adorable. I thought so. Good to have ya, good to have ya. I'm Frank. Uncle Frank, nice to meet ya. Kinda awkward that we've not really met for like, I don't know, New Year's or something by now, but hey, it's okay. Just so you know, it's customary around these here parts to give a hug when greeting folks. Wanna give it a try? Sure, Uncle Frank. And actually, uh, what? Come on, don't be shy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's rather surprising to get told that right out of the blue. It was a surprise. It was one surprise after another for me when I first got to West Town too. But it turned out to be pretty nice. Just consider this practice. Just consider this a practice round if you like. Aw, that's okay. Come on, little Siri, hug your uncle. He's got plants in his hat. There. He has to be a good guy. He's got plants. That's so cute. But Story of Seasons Trio of Towns is supposed to have really dynamic cultures for each of the three towns that you can go and befriend and visit and you also can actually develop really good relationships with the townspeople I've been trying not to read too much on it but I wanted to just skim because I was so excited and if you go to the restaurants in this game and you eat at the restaurants you actually will gain a higher relationship with the people who are also eating at the restaurant at the same time and you want to talk to people the more you talk to people as in mini harvest moon games you will actually develop a deeper relationship with them but you can even do little quick hellos. You can hit L as you run past people to do a fast hello instead of a full conversation and that will contribute to your relationship too. And if you make a habit of eating somewhere with people regularly enough, then you can actually get cheaper goods at the stores that they run because they'll like you more. And I love that. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, focus on Uncle Frank. There you go. That was a good one. I'm sure it'll all seem confusing at first, but you'll do just fine. Ha! I think I'm already accepted by my uncle. Perhaps it's our matching hats. Once you've met enough folks and get a chance to say hi, you'll get used to it. Okay, so get used to hugging. I can get used to hugging. Customary hugs. Still, they weren't lying when they said times fly. Uh, when they said time flies. Look at how big you've gotten. Last I saw you, you were still just a little baby. I bet you don't even remember me. No, to be honest, I don't. I can't really see much of a family resemblance either, but I'll take it. Your pa sent me a letter explaining everything. First things first, though. You gotta be brushed. You gotta be bushed after that long trip. I thought he said brushed, and I was like, like a like a like a horse that just comes in, and you need to groom it. What? Come on in and settle down for a spell. All right, so let's go inside, see how his house is. Oh, it's so cute! <gasps> Look at the little milk cans and little wheel spokes. Right then, let's not forget while you're here, you want to become a farmer, yeah? I was real happy to hear that you want to do the same thing with your life that I do. Oh, look, he's got some of my dad's energy in him after all. But don't you forget, it's Ma Nature herself you'll be tackling. Some days can be real tough. You really sure this is what you want to do? I'm positive. I'm pretty sure. Can I hug a keepy bear or, or pat a cow or eat a strawberry now? I wonder if he's married. He just has one little little bed in the back corner there. Good answer! No wonder you were able to get stubborn, stubborn old Bear Daryl to back down. 
Now, I know I said some stuff that might have scared you. But around these parts, the harder you work, the more Ma Nature will take care of you. Ma Nature, that's adorable. I, that I can guarantee. Yay, thank you, Uncle. <gasps> Was that a cow? Or his stomach? <laughs> it's his stomach. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Guess my stomach has reminded me it's getting on supper time. Let's make some food, eh? You know what? I'll cook you up something right scrumptious in celebration of your new life. You just wait right here. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Alright, we got this, Uncle. And there's lots of recipes, just like in oh so many of the Harvest Moon games that you can play. <gasps> Look at my little stamina counter is up in the top left now. He made pizza. This is some pizza I made using veggies grown by Truly Yours. Dig in. Awesome. Is that going to refill my stamina? Yeah, look at that. It totally did. Well, good, ain't it? Whenever you want to recover your stamina, hunker down and have a bite to eat. Sure, you could always get a little stamina back by eating the berries and veggies you can forage up in the wild. <gasps> wild fruits and vegetables. But when you want to really recover your stamina, a home-cooked meal is where it's at. Either way, just make sure you don't run out of stamina altogether. If you do, you'll collapse and nobody wants that. Thank you, Uncle. Valuable lessons. I can't believe you made like a whole pizza. That's so cool. Alright, so it looks like Uncle Frank has definitely taken us under his wing. Now then, time to hit the hay. You can use that bed right over there. Thank you, Uncle. Alright, don't be forgetting to write in your journal before you go to sleep. Alright, and that'll be how we save our game, which is super awesome. Oh, look at all the animals! <gasps> Deep breath. Details. When you write in your journal, you can remember what you did that day and save your progress. It's smart to write in your journal at least once a day if you can. Awesome. And then you can load to read your journal. Alright, got it. Now, I'd love to take you down to your farm first thing tomorrow, but it's still being worked on. Instead, I'll give you the grand tour of West Town. How's that sound? At any rate, it's time for bed. Good night, Siri. All right, we've got this. And then you can go to the little bouncing puppy in a box and save. All right, we're going to go ahead and save. There we go. Our journal is being written in. All right, morning time and time to tour West Town. All right, let's see where Uncle Frank is going to take us and if we have to do our customary hugs with lots of new people. Morning, Siri. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Uncle Frank. Today, I reckon I'll give you a tour of the town. But first, we better go say howdy to Megan. She's the town elder, after all. All right, so it looks like that's the way the town works with the elder system, perhaps. Or maybe it's just being polite. Probably a little both. Megan's house is the building down to the right of here. Oh, is that a field? Oh, wow, look at the waterfall. That's really pretty. Come on, let's go. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be tumbleweeds that roll by. That would be so adorable. Look at the cactus. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like the lupins are in bloom. Have a look, Siri. <gasps> Uncle Frank, you truly do have to take after my own heart. Oh, there's flowers blooming. You'll find lots of wild lupin, aloe, and plum grass around this area. <gasps> aloe? Okay, you guys. Oh, the wild harvest has definitely been stepped up. I am so excited. I can't wait till we can run around picking it. What? You can really can pick it? Wildflowers can even make good presents for people. You can even use some of them in cooking. When they're glittering is when they're ready to harvest. Just walk up to one and press the A button to pick it up. Can I pick one now? Right then. Let's be on our way. Come on. Oh, this is going to be awesome. A good morning to you, Megan. Look at all the details of their houses. I'm just so enchanted looking at everything. Hello, Frank. I've been waiting for you. Is this the relative you were telling me about? Yes, ma'am. This here, Siri. Oh my gosh, look at all the details. It's so cute. I wonder if I can send them mail. Oh, look at our flowers. It's a pleasure to meet you, Siri. My name's Megan. I'm the town elder here in West Town. I'm also a farmer just like Frank. I think I can speak for the whole town when I say we're very happy to have you here. Thank you, Megan. Uh, I think I, do I call you Megan? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Customary hugs, customary hugs for everyone. <laughs> it's adorable. 
My, my. What's wrong, sweetie? Still a little shy about giving hugs, it looks like. Oh, that's adorable. That's not the custom where Siri comes from. Oh, is that what it is? I see. Don't worry about it too much, Siri. You'll get used to it before too long. That's so cute. Well then, let's be off on the grand tour, shall we? As you can see, the whole town is situated on a mountainside. It's always been a very good place for raising livestock. The red soil, hills, and tall cliffs are some of the unique characteristics of the area. She sounds like a woman very proud of her town and oh my gosh, it's so pretty! The land here is perfect for farms that use a lot of water and grow green veggies. You can harvest a lot of fodder here too. The, that road down over there leads to the farm where you'll be living before long. And the road up beyond the bridge leads to the center of town. Let's go that way first so I can tell you about the stores and other things of interest in town. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Look at the waterfall! And there's so many plants! Did you guys see how many wildflowers there were to harvest? Oh, I'm so excited! And what, oh, there's cactuses everywhere! I love the details in the town! Oh, it's so lovely! Here we are, the heart of West Town. Oh, alright guys, I think this is a good place to stop with our first day in Story of Seasons Trio of Towns because there's probably going to be so many new things to see and so many people to introduce ourselves to. So tomorrow we will continue on for quite a while with daily episodes of Trio of Towns for as long as I can because I truly find no better tranquility out there than diving into a beautiful Harvest Moon type game. You guys know how much I loved Stardew Valley and I can tell I'm really going to love the characters, the world, all of the different features of Story of Seasons Trio of Towns too. So tomorrow we are going to be continuing on with our tour and hopefully we'll be able to see our farm for the first time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye!